I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. I was going to do a live, but I've already done enough lives for the night. <laughs> yeah, so I got to come with this video right quick. We see it. Bama loss. Roll tide. Full of pride. You know what it is. Never switch up. Stand on that. Always Bama, dog. Roll tie forever. But with that being said, I'm on head tops, ready to make their head drop. I don't care who like it. Another reason I didn't want to go live because I didn't want to hear what Bama fans have to say or no one. You understand? Because half of the Bama fans talking, just yapping. Statements are inaccurate, right? So I'm going to just get this off real quick. Not going to spend too much time on it. You understand? First off, everyone's to blame for this loss. I repeat, everyone's to blame for the loss. Who takes the majority of the blame, in my opinion? Coaches. I know some people saying, oh, you can't put it on the coaches. You got to put it on Milro. Oh, yeah, Milro definitely takes blame. Two missed big throws, touchdowns. Bad throws. I don't think he can read a defense. Yeah, I don't think... He can read a defense. No, has he not been developed or what? He can throw the deep ball. Oh, yeah, he can throw the deep ball every once in a while. But that's easy to stop. You can't do that all game just like you can't run the ball all game. <laughs> you got to get a rhythm. And you got to work to Milrow Shrentz, offensive coordinator. Let's get to it. First position I will speak on, the trenches, O-line and D-line. O-line the worst. First off, <laughs> I see this similar scenario, except with an NFL team, my other favorite team in football, the Minnesota Vikings. Tomorrow, we will see how their O-line looks. You understand? But the O-line, piss poor trash. Garbage. You understand? Soft. Who is number 74? I saw him getting hyped up all offseason. Proctor, Proctor, all offseason like he's some, some beast, epic guy. He soft. He got did the worst. All Texas did was line up and blitz. Line up and blitz went right at him. But the O-line as a whole was trash. I wasn't impressed. This is versus number 11 Texas team. You understand? And guess what? The SEC runs nothing no more. <laughs> I'm going to try to refrain from cussing, but the SEC runs nothing no more. No, 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 no. Kill that noise. Texas A&M got beat, right? <laughs> the ACC looking very good. But the SEC runs nothing no more. And Bama, <laughs> right now, they not looking like the same old Bama, but the O-line was trash soft, got bullied. Penalties after penalties, beat themselves mentality. Lack of discipline has a lot to do with coaching, but lack of discipline, you understand? Looking down, looking despondent on the field. Looking, feeling like they're feeling sorry for themselves. They do too much partying, too much hanging out with the females, huh? Getting too comfortable, eating too much, stomach full, stomach fat. They thought Texas was going to lay down. Are you dumb? <laughs> D-line, where were you, D-line? Where was the pass rush? Better yet, where was the blitz? Another coaching problem, scheme, game plan, lack of blitzing. And these coaches are getting paid millions? I mean millions to coach? <laughs> what is this, politics? What is this, favoritism? <laughs> what is this? This is piss poor, trash. Where was the pass rush? Huh? They made that Texas quarterback look like he was damn Eli Manning or somebody. <laughs> like he was Bryce Young or something. What's his name? Ewers. Ewers. Let a dude named Ewers. Do you win? Do you bad? Do you dirty? Huh? <laughs> Are you serious? Linebacker play. <laughs> Atrocious. Not the best. I, I ain't going to say atrocious. They hung in there. The defense actually was the strong point. I give them that. They kept the offense in the game. Kept the offense in the game. Cannot deny that. Cannot take it from them. Respect to the defense for the most part. But linebackers, especially late in the game, they were getting pushed through. They were getting bullied. No complimentary football. <laughs> Come on, man. Linebackers may be the strongest point in, on this Alabama defense. 
Ah, but tonight everyone looked bad tonight. Everyone looked bad tonight. But tonight everyone looked bad tonight, man. Facts. You understand? <laughs> Watching the fights as well. That's why I keep glancing. We go to the secondary. Secondary, are you serious, man? Secondary, are you serious, man? The Texas, Texas is going deep all game, being aggressive. Why are you biting on anything? Why are you biting on the pump fake? That's part of coaching. I wonder where they told that. Did they understand? You're getting beat deep all game. Texas is being aggressive. Play back. Don't let no one behind you. That's where coaching comes in, though. So everyone takes the blame, but cornerbacks all look very suspect. Same as last season. Bama looks suspect as a whole. You understand? Let's go to the receivers. Can you get open, receivers? Can you get open? Huh? But I understand when it's pressure, Milrow got to scramble around. It's tough. But receivers, you were on lock a lot. You were on lockdown a lot, receivers. You receive some blame. You will receive blame, period, bottom line. You can't evade it. Don't talk to me about a couple big throws. Throwing deep. All right, cool. But how about consistently, consistently getting open? No, the receivers for Bama don't do that. The schedule gets tougher. <laughs> Doesn't get any easier for real. You understand? Respect to Texas. Shout out Texas for playing good football, man. Coming in with the A game, ready to play. I knew they was going to come in and play. Yeah, you know, I'm going to talk my trash. That's me. That's big school. After the game, respect, though, right? Respect to them boys. Respect to the coach. Out coach Saban. I repeat, out coach Saban. You understand? Receivers, get open, man. Get open. Get better. Now we go to Milrow. <laughs> you can give him strong arm. He can throw a good deep ball every now and then. He can run. He can scramble. But guess what? That man can't read a defense week in, week out. And it's only going to get more confusing. Only going to get more confusing. Oh, man. Team got the blueprint to stop him. The blueprint is out already week two to stop Jalen Milrow. You blitz him, get him under pressure, hit him in the mouth, and lock the receivers down. That's it. Bowen's either going to run it or oh, run, run, throw. Run, run, throw. Predictable. You cover the deep ball, he has nothing. Every once in a while, he can make an accurate throw in the middle of the field. But he cannot consistently read defenses, man. No disrespect. This is facts. You might want to get the other quarterback ready if Bama wants the chance. Is the season over? No. Uh-uh. Not by a long shot, baby. They lost. It sucks. Beat themselves badly. Got all played, out coached. But is the season over? Is it too late for the natty? No. But just like last season, man, drastic changes. It's good it happened early. It's good it happened early. We saw last year they lost late in the season. Messed them up. So they can bounce back. They can recover. But will it happen? I don't know, bro. They got exposed tonight. They look soft in the most important positions. Trenches. That's what I'm worried about the most with them boys. I don't care how big they are. They were soft. Period. They were very soft. Don't talk to me, don't talk to me about how big the O-line is. They got pushed around. Speed beat them tonight. Quickness beat them tonight. Agility, athleticism. Smaller players beat them tonight. Soft. Not impressed, man. You understand? I'm just being real. Now we go to the coaches. Majority of the blame tonight, coaches. They're getting paid millions of dollars to coach trash. I don't care what you say. Tommy Reader. Yeah, he had some good play calls. Yes, Milrow missed some throws. So what? It's football. You're going to miss throws. <laughs> Mistakes happen. Milrow gets the blame, but guess what? The offensive coordinators get majority of the blame. They're the coaches. They're supposed to have the players ready. A broken play, a missed throw, so what? You're supposed to have much more in your arsenal, Mr. Tommy. He should have much more in his arsenal, in his playbook, ready to go, ready to go. 
another game plan, a plan B. Switch, adapt. You switch, adapt. Just like a defensive coordinator, you got beat the whole game, same motion plays, same RPOs, different looks, right? <laughs> different packages, same plays. You couldn't stop that, you couldn't adapt. You couldn't put your players in the best position. That is coaching, lack of coaching. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say, that's lack of coaching, man. Period, bottom line. I don't wanna hear nothing, bro. Nothing. You got beat the whole game with the same plays. Offense was predictable. First down, handoff. Second down, handoff. Third down, pass. If you don't believe in Milro, get him out the game. Bring the other quarterback in, but you can't just run the ball, baby. This is the SEC. This is D1. All Texas had to do was stop the run and play deep. <laughs> Milro cannot read a defense, bro. The coaches didn't help him. I don't care. They drew some good plays up. Be consistent. Be consistent. Offense and the defensive side of the ball. Nick Saban walking around like this. I'm so tired of seeing him with his arms folded. Boy, I'm so tired of seeing him with his arms folded. Woo! And they getting paid big bucks for what? Huh? For what? They got out coached. Everybody want to blame the players? No. Yeah, the players get blamed, but blame the coaches. It's time to start coursing and saving. In my opinion, hey man, the offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, they might be worse than the ones from last year. Last drive of the game, <laughs> third and seven. <laughs> You're not aware of the possibility of Texas running? You're so scared of the pass that you line up three wide at that, holes wide open. I caught it. I said, they can run. Look out for the run. I would have ran. It's not rocket science. It's football. Ass white. Period. No one is absolved from blame, dog. Heavy. It was a piss poor performance. And it will be a long season if they don't nip it in the bud. Natty, you talk about Natty, Dynasty. Bama, you can't lose again. You cannot lose again, Bama. You got to win out and guess what? And beat Georgia or your season is over. You understand? No playoff. You understand? Do you dig me? Big skull head, roll tight full of pride, but it's time for some major changes. And Saban, the head coach, he gets the first look. It's no longer Saban goes off scotch-free. Where's his blame? Period. The scouts, recruiters, etc. they're bringing these players in. You talk about lack of discipline. You're supposed to have your players ready, zoned in. Penalties, unnecessary penalties. Offsides when you could have got the ball back? Don't talk to me about just the players. Talk to me about Saban. Talk to me about the talk to me about the offensive coordinator, the defensive coordinator, special teams. Did you dick me? I'm tired of the biasness, the favoritism. Saban walking around, arms folded, arms folded. He just gets away with this shit. Year in, year out. I'm done with it. True fan head. It's time to revamp this whole team. They better get it together. <laughs> Long season, baby. Good thing they lost early. Good thing they were exposed early. You understand? Now they got to fight back, just like last season. The only positive from tonight is they still have a chance at the playoff. But they got a long road, a long journey, and they better focus in. And whoever don't want to be on the field, take their ass home. Get off the field. You understand me? If Jalen Miro can't read a defense, get him off the field. It's going to get easier for teams. They're going to scheme him. You see the blueprint, like I said, to beat Miro, to confuse him. I'm stating facts. I'm tired of seeing this piss poor shit. This is not Bama standard. Huh? This is not Bama standard. Get it in gear. That's my take, my opinion on it, man. 
excuse me. <laughs> Let me know how you feel about it. Feedback is much appreciated. Woo!